Hello scholars, welcome back to the Kemet Masai Academy. Today we're looking at the area of the circle. What do we mean when we talk about the area of a circle? So the concept of area is the space occupied on the inside of a, a flat figure, a closed, flat or plain, P-L-A-N-E, figure. So it's the same for the area of a circle, right? Here we have the circle and I've shaded the area. The space, all the entire space on the inside of the circle, that's what we mean by the area of the circle, right? Now there's a formula for finding the area of the circle and that's pi r squared. Pi times the radius squared. So r stands for the radius, pi, is 3.14 or 22 over 7. Um, pi is a special number used in mathematics. This is pi in its decimal form. This is pi in its fractional form. You can use either one. You'll get the same answer pretty much. The decimal, um, the, if you use a decimal, you might have to round off to, you know, maybe they want the answer in whole numbers. So when, when you get your final, figure you might have to round it up or leave it in one or two decimal places and if you use the fraction form it, it works best if you're if you're working with multiples of seven where you can easily cancel the seven now remember for area the units in the final answer should be square units area is expressed in squared units because the radius has a single unit because it's a single distance, right? So 10 centimeters, just centimeters. But if we're multiplying the radius by itself, we're squaring it. To square a number means to multiply it by itself. If we're multiplying the radius by itself, so it will be 10 centimeters times 10 centimeters, centimeter times centimeter is centimeter squared. And that's why area is measured in squared units because we're measuring two distances. Area is a two-dimensional concept, length and width. Or in the case of the circle, we're still having two units multiplying by each other. So it's squared units just the same. So remember to put in your squared units at the end. All right, so calculate the area. So we're just going to use the formula, pi times the radius times the radius. Okay, so area equal. So let's use pi as 3.14 times the radius times the radius. I chose to use 3.14 because I realized that I'm multiplying by 10. And it's easy to multiply decimals by 10 or powers of 10. We just move the decimal point that many places to the right. So that's why I chose to use pi in its decimal form as opposed to the fraction form. So we know 10 times 10 is 100. And 3.14 times 100, we move two places to the right. So that's 314 centimeter squared, just like that. All right, here the radius is eight meters, and we're multiplying, area is pi r squared. So let's use pi in its, fra in its fraction form this time. So that would be 22 over seven times eight times eight. So even though eight is not a multiple of seven, just for practice, Let's use pi in its fraction form. So 8 is 50, um, 64. So 22 times 64. 4 2 is 8. 4 2 is 8. 6 2 is 12. 6 2 is 12 and 1 13. And now we need to divide that by 7. So 7 into 14, 2 times, 7 into 0, 0, 7 into 8, 1 time, remainder 7. So the area of this circle is 201 and 1 7 meters squared. 
So we multiply the radius times the radius times pi. Same for this. The radius is 5. So we can choose whether to use decimal form. So let's use decimal this time. 3.14 times 5 times 5. 5 fives are 25. So 3.14 times 25. 5 4 is 20. 5 1 is 5 and 2 is 7. 5 3 is 15. 2 4 is 8. 2 1 is 2. 2 3 is 6. And two decimal places. So that's 78.5. 78.5 meters square. Now, they still want us to find the area of these circles. However, if you look carefully, you realize that these are not the radius. These are the diameters. They gave us the diameter. But the formula says pi times the radius squared. So we have to do an additional step and find the radius first. But it's easy, it's pretty simple. The radius is half of the diameter. So we need to just <clears throat> divide the diameter by 2 first to get the radius. And then we go ahead and use our pi times the radius times the radius. Alright, so again, since it's a power of 10, I'm going to use my decimal. 3.14 times the radius times the radius. So we're multiplying by 100 by 100. So that's four decimal places we're going to end up moving. So that's one, two, and we add two more zeros then. 31,400 kilometers squared. So if they give us the radius, the distance from the center to the end, to the, the center to the circumference, that's the radius. And we need that pi times the radius times the radius. But if they give us this, the diameter, we have to do the additional step and find the radius. Divide the diameter by 2 to get the radius, and then we go ahead, pi times the radius times the radius. If, if you're working with powers of 10 at all, I suggest you use the decimal because it's easy to multiply by powers of 10. You just move that many places to the right or add that many zeros, right? Okay, so 14, the diameter is 14. The radius is 14 divided by 2, which is 7. Now we can go ahead. Since 7 is a multiple of 7, I'm going to use the fraction form. So it's pi times the radius times the radius and that 7 cancels that one which is why I chose to use the fraction form because I know it has a 7 in the denominator so once I'm working with a multiple of 7 I'm going to use the fraction form so the 7 can cancel the multiple of 7 in the numerator so all I'm left with now is 22 times 7 7 2 is 14 7 2 is 14 and 1 15 so that's 154 kilometers square. Remember our square units, square units for area. So we got the diameter, we needed the radius to plug it into the formula, pi times the radius squared. We divided the diameter by 2 to get the radius, and then we plug that in. And, and we use pi in its fraction form, since we know that in its fraction form, there's a 7 in the denominator, <coughs> excuse me, and once we're working with a, a multiple of 7, it's easy to cancel out at least one of them, right? All right, so the diameter is 6. So by now we know we just half that to get the radius. Divide that by 2, so the radius is 3 meters, and then we just go ahead. So, I'm going to use the decimal form this time. 3.14 times 3 times 3. 3, 3 is 9. So, let's work 
9.14 times 9, 9, 4 is 36, 9, 1 is 9 and 3, 12, 9, 3 is 27 and 1, 28, two decimal places, so the area is 28.26 meters square. And that's, that's all there is to it, really. That's all there is to it. If we're given the radius, just plug it in, square it, multiply the radius by itself, then multiply it by pi. If you're given the diameter, divide the diameter by 2 to get the radius, and then square the radius, multiply it by itself, times pi. And you decide whether you want to use pi in its decimal form, 3.14, or in its fraction form 22 over 7. That's it. And remember area, what we, what we, we talk about area will mean all the space on the inside of the circle. The entire space taken up by the base of that circle. Alright, so if you, if you are being helped by this video, just drop a line to tell me, thank you miss, let me know that you appreciate the effort and share the video so other students may benefit as well. Let me know if you want me to do a video on any topic, any topic that you don't see already in the catalog. If you haven't already subscribed, do so now so you can benefit from more videos and click the bell so you can know as soon as a new video is posted. I'll see you in the next video.